if you pray you will only do what you usually do is that not obvious what all do we do we eat we bath we relax we talk we chat ha huh? we plan we take pleasure we feel hurt that's what we are and if we pray then the prayer would have the same quality as all these activities have so obviously we cannot pray prayer is not a continuation of who we are praying is just going there and standing going where not to some physical location going there and standing silently that inner silence is prayer prayer is when you are saying that i cannot know my own good prayer is when you have relaxed and given up your sense of responsibility towards yourself that is praying you are saying you are the rightful owner you decide how things will run anything that you say in praying would be sacrilege because those would be your words your words are an obstruction in praying they are not the prayer can there not, not be situations that Please, please. Uh, that the prayer really comes from the heart. Yes, yes. It is possible that the words that come spontaneously, they arise from an inner silence. Then it is a true prayer. But then those words will not be cultivated or fixed words. Then those words will not be coming from memory. They will be coming from the heart. Then that prayer will not be a religiously sanctioned prayer. then those words will not be the same words that your neighbor too is uttering then those words will not be the words that you find in some prayer book then those words will surprise you as well what am i saying the fact is those words will sound a little foolish spirituality is about having the courage to sound foolish yeah most of us keep on wanting to sound intelligent right we are so afraid the spiritual man is not at all afraid he says i am prepared to appear stupid i am prepared to appear stupid it's all right and that is prayer whenever your words are not or your own you are praying and that does not mean that you have to be standing in a church or in a temple or by a river whenever there is spontaneity whenever you have surrendered the surrendered action is a prayer that does not mean that you must stand with folded hands you could be walking the walk now is now a prayer you could be sleeping the sleep is now a prayer surrendered whatever you do is a prayer it's like acceptance yeah? accepting a- acceptance of, of your daily no not even acceptance not even acceptance because in acceptance you are still the master you are saying i am accepting and having the right to reject do you see that when you accept you reserve the right to reject so not even acceptance prayer is an absolute relaxation an absolute giving up who am i to accept who am i to reject i'll just let it happen and that is also what the sage was saying let the woman operate on her own let the woman operate on her own that is prayer let things happen 
let not fear become too heavy upon you don't we say if i let things lose there would be disorder i must be the controller i have been vested with the responsibility to correct things prayer means the responsibility is not mine just as the surprises from somewhere similarly things will be taken care of from somewhere i can relax i can relax and in that relaxation remember there is great intensity in that relaxation remember there may be great action but that would still be action coming from relaxation and silence ha huh? and that is beautiful outside there may be so much of action and here ah huh, relaxed chilled out hmm now one is prayerful 24 hours now one is prayerful 24 hours i am afraid you know these two words prayer and meditation are the most abused words in the spiritual world we have degraded them to mere activities we say i am praying we say i am meditating now this is just as you cannot pray similarly you cannot meditate just as there can be no method of praying similarly there can be no method to meditate just as there can be no fixed time to pray similarly there can be no fixed time of meditation both of these are just the same surrendering surrendering yourself if you are surrendering yourself who are you to decide the time if you are surrendering who are you to decide where to pray if you are surrendering who are you to decide whether to pray so even the prayer must come from him i am not praying to him he is praying to himself through me 